I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your low impact standing legs workout. No squats or lunges. So in this workout, we're gonna be doing some standing moves. You can grab a chair or the side of a wall or the back of the couch for balance, but we will not be doing any squats and lunges. So I know sometimes uh, some of you experience pain on those moves. This is a workout to strengthen your legs, your glutes, your hamstrings, all throughout your lower body without those moves. So all you need for this workout is a little bit of space and a chair if you need it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're just gonna march it out just to get the blood flowing and everything warmed up and moving. And again, if you wanna set your chair, make sure it's a sturdy chair. You don't have to have one, there just will be some moves that involve a little bit of balance, so it's nice to have. You can also use the side of a wall, the back of a couch, a countertop, anything that's gonna make you feel a little more stable. But again, these moves are not gonna be super hard, just some will be moving, standing on one leg, moving the leg to the side, to the front, to the back, so sometimes it's nice to have. So just go ahead and do some really gentle knee raises. You don't have to get up super high just to open up those hip, hip flexors. If you can get them high, it's great. We engage more core and we're stretching through that. And then just some little circles through the hips. Just go as high as is comfortable for you. We're taking them out and then take them back in. Go, I know that one's a little harder, right? And then just some little gentle hamstring curls to the back. So a little slight bend, bringing your heel towards your glutes. So again, I know that sometimes squats and lunges are hard on the knees, especially if you've had an injury or you have some arthritis or you just have some general tightness and pain. I would encourage you to keep trying things like even just a sit squat uh, because the more you do things, the more things are gonna get stronger, loosen up, you'll get some mobility and flexibility. So don't think if you can't do them now, if they're painful now, just step it out side to so, side to side. Don't think that that means that you won't ever be able to do them. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. I can't tell you how many times I've had clients or class members tell me that they had a lot of knee pain when they started, so they thought they couldn't exercise, and then when they started to exercise, they felt so much better. So exercise really does help and improve that. But the reason I, I'm doing this specific workout is that I know we need to have other options in the meantime. Okay, so we're holding here. So we're just gonna start. Hold if you want to. Let's have one foot forward, doesn't matter which one. Just remember, I'm gonna go right. And we're just going to step back, step forward, step back, step forward. So my front leg, I'm doing a slight bend. What we don't wanna do is lock out, that puts pressure on the knee. But slight bend, and then you're pushing into that heel. So this is simulating the motion where this leg is doing more of the work. We don't wanna push off that back leg, keep the front leg doing the work, but we're tapping here to here. Ready, here we go. So start slow. If you don't need the balance, it's great just to get your arms moving. That'll get a little heart pumping, a little bit of heart rate for cardio. And then if you need it, just take it here. So go completely at your own pace. But if you wanna take it up a notch, you can speed up just a little. And again, slight bend in this knee, but not lunging down, just back, forward. There we go. And then we're gonna keep this motion. We're gonna add a heel in the front. So heel, toe, heel, toe. Looks like this. And again, this leg is staying slightly bent, pushing into the heel. Feel how you're feeling that, right? And again, try to wiggle those toes in that front shoe. That's gonna help keep you from putting that pressure in the front. And then it's also going to make sure that you engage the glutes by pushing into the heel. We got about five seconds. Hope you're feeling it like me. Three, two, one. Let's stay on that same leg. And we're gonna do a little leg lift to the front. So I'm just gonna lift up from the hip flexor with the knee. Just go as far as is comfortable. Abs are pulled in tight. We're gonna go for four and three. Two, and if you can hold it up, small little extension out. So you're gonna feel that quad, feel that hip flexor. If it's starting to cramp or it doesn't feel comfortable, just drop it down. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that, that moving leg out and then shake that stationary leg out, right? So we feel that just by the movement. We're gonna stay on that same leg on the ground one more time. We're gonna do a little lift to the back. So I'm just gonna do a little push and then in. If you can keep that leg off the ground, 
If you need to tap it down in between, that's okay too, either on the way up or the way down or both. Abs are pulled in for balance. Go and we'll go for four, three, two, and then hold it here. We're gonna do little lifts, just little pulses, squeezing in the back of the glute. You'll feel a little lower back strengthening too. Keep breathing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it out. Good. So let's do all of that on the other side. So if you need to move your chair or just turn yourself right around, we'll start with that little tap back, take it to the heel to toe. Then we'll do some little front raises and kicks and then some little back raises. Abs are pulled in tight. Remember that that leg that is staying on the ground, you're gonna do a slight bend and really focus on pushing into the heel. And then the moving leg is staying nice and light. We're starting just tapping back. Here we go. Back and forward, back and forward. So start slow. You're going at your own pace. If you need to go slower than me, that's totally fine. If you wanna pick it up, feel it a little bit more, that is fine too. Again, keeping that bend, keeping the core pulled in tight, pumping in the arms if you can. Even if you're holding, you can pump that other arm and that'll get the heart pumping for a little bit of cardio. So from here, let's add that heel. So heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Just like this, and if you wanna speed it up, that's fine too. Keep that core pulled in. Again, you're gonna feel that leg. You didn't think you could just by not doing any squats and lunges, but you can. So keep breathing, keep pulling that core in. We got about 10 seconds to go. You decide your pace. Breathe. Yeah, burn. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Same leg on the ground. We're gonna lift with the knee. Abs pulled in. So you're gonna feel that hip flexor and a little bit of core engagement to keep a slight bend in that foot that's on the ground. Three, two, and then if you can, hold it up, kick it out and in. A little bit of a quad knee extension, which works directly in the top, strengthening here, strengthening your knee joints as well. Three, two, one. I know we feel that right there. Shake that out. Shake this out. Let's take it to the back. Same leg on the ground. We're gonna push back and in. Lift and lower. Squeezing in the glute, keep the core in tight. Hands here, not leaning into it. Keep it nice and upright so you can lift through the glute, through the hip. Again, also a little bit of lower back, which is good for strengthening without putting pressure on the back. Breathe, hold it here, little pulses. Squeeze, lifting. Remember, you can keep it small if you need to. Keep squeezing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Shake that out. Good job, team. We're gonna slide that back around. Just do a little step touch just to kind of shake that out. If at any point in this video you need to take a break, just hit pause, grab a sip of water. We're gonna keep it short, but certainly work to your own level. So same idea, except instead of that back step and then eventually heel to toe, we're gonna take a side step. Same idea with that stationary leg staying slightly bent so we get a little bit of the form and function of a squat or a lunge, working through that leg, and then movement, mobility through that other leg. We'll start with a tap out. Halfway through, we're gonna take it across. So we'll get a little bit of engagement, inner thigh and outer thigh. So again, find your balance, maybe march for just a second, shake everything out. Pushing through the stationary heel, stationary leg is gonna be slightly bent, core is in tight, You've got the balance if you need it, and we're gonna step out to the side, starting slow at your own pace, and then we'll speed up as we go along. Ready, here we go. Tap it out. And you can do the same thing with the arms, breathing side to side. You can start nice and slow, balance if you need it. If you wanna take it up, keeping nice, good form. And again, notice I'm keeping a slight bend here, but my movement, it's staying stationary here, movement out and in with the hips, so really good for the hip joints as well. And push into that heel, I know you're feeling it. 
and then let's take it across. Tap, out, tap, out. Right, a little bit harder, reaching across your body. So even if you just get to here, you're still gonna feel that. Inner thigh, outer thigh, right? Breathe. We got 10 seconds. Balance here, push into the heel, take it across your body. Doesn't have to be super far. Four, three, two, one, and then take it here, lift to the side. So side leg raise, abs are pulled in tight. I'm doing a little slight bend of the knee. You can flex that foot if you want. Again, I'm not leaning into it. I'm trying to stay upright here. And again, keeping a slight bend in that opposite leg, pushing into the heel so we still feel that working. We'll go for four, three, two, one, shake them both out, give it a little break. We're gonna stay on that same leg. We're gonna lift for inner thighs. So take it across your body. I know this is a little tougher. Feel free to turn in here if that helps. And again, it can be even just here to here, a little out in front. You don't have to go all the way across. I don't want you to twist in the torso. Just lift and down, lift and down. Inner thighs, outer thighs. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out. So you can feel just by the stationary leg taking all of the weight, staying stationary, nice and contracted, slightly bent so we're not locked out. We're getting all those muscles working. And then we're getting all that great mobility, flexibility work with that moving leg. Go ahead and slide your chair over to the other side. And then we're gonna do the same thing from here. So starting with that tap out, then we'll take it across, then we'll do some isolations. Here we go, tap out, tap in. Slight bend in the stationary leg, drive into the heel, try to move your toes in your shoes, just a little wiggle at the top of that foot so that way you know you're focused in the heel. You can take it nice and slow, you can speed it up, whatever is working best for you today. Certainly want you to feel safe and successful, so if by going too fast is gonna make you feel too shaky, just slow it down, your own pace. Let's take it across, here we go. And remember, you can go crossing your body like I am, or a little bit out in front. We're still just tapping, we're not lifting yet. Still making this leg control the motion, and then moving through that outside leg. Here we go, outer thighs, inner thighs, and then lots of quads, glutes, and hamstrings. 10 seconds to go, breathe, four, Three, two, one. Let's take it up to the side. Lift and lower. Little slight bend in the knees, both knees, pushing into the heel still with that stationary leg and then lifting through outer thighs. And if you notice, I'm not getting super high. I don't expect you to get here. Again, I certainly don't want you to lean into it. Just breathe and contract. We'll go four, three, two, and one, shake that out. And then let's stay here. Let's take it across for inner thighs. Here we go. So remember, you're lifting on this one instead of tapping like before. Take it across your body if you can. If you need to be here, that works too. Inner, outer. Or if you wanna go out a little bit in front. Keep breathing, core is pulled in. Small motion, whatever works best for you. For four, three, two, and one, shake that out, Woo, right? Breathe, okay, we are almost done. We're gonna move our chair, ah, I guess it doesn't matter, you can keep it wherever you wanna be because we're gonna stay, stay facing. So, no chair, we're just gonna be here, leaning forward a little bit for balance, chair or wall, we're here. And then let's take it back to that first leg, whichever one you did first, and let's push out into, mm, I guess it's this, Let's push out into a glute raise with a little bend of the knee. So we're pushing. So this time I am leaning a little bit forward. So this might be hard to do if you're just standing. So I would say tap it down in between, push it up. If you have something for balance, try to keep it off the ground. We're just gonna isolate a little more glutes. Knee comes in, push it out. Abs pulled in. And again, stationary leg is taking all the weight. So it's working too. Here we go. Four, three, 
two, and then hold it out straight. Little pulses, if you don't have the balance, feel free to take it from the ground here. If you have the balance, lift here, squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it out, Woo, right? And then we'll do same thing, other side. You can just stay right where you are, take the knee in, push it out. If you have something to hold on to, this is one of those moves that's really helpful. Knee in, push through the heel. So a little more raise than that raise we did in the very beginning. Keep everything pulled in tight. Trying not to lean too much. So we're not leaning on the move, we're just keeping our weight forward. For without balance, we're here. Breathe. Four, three, two, and then hold it up. Flex that foot, little pulses. Keep a bend in that stationary. Abs are pulled in. Feel free to take it from the ground. If you need to, just keep squeezing. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. You did it, guys. So that is it. That is all we're gonna do. If you need more, feel free to do this workout again. Eventually, I will be making a longer workout with no squats and lunges, maybe involving some floor work as well. So if you can from here, let's take one foot forward and just sit back deep and do a hamstring stretch. Grab onto the wall if you need to. You can even reach towards that foot or just keep the hand on the opposite leg. Pull the toe towards you. Breathe into that. And then we're gonna take it same thing, other side. So switch your legs, stretching out through that hamstring. Reach toward it, either hand, pull the toe towards you, that helps. Breathe. And then do a few more of those little hip circles, taking them out, and then taking them in. And then if you do have a chair, or a couch or something to sit on or take it to the floor. We're gonna sit, and I'll show you the two ways to do this, and get a little hip stretch. So if you are able, pull that foot up and just lean over into that. You're gonna feel the back of that hip. If you're on the floor, a good way to do it, cross it here and then just kind of pull that foot towards you. But certainly easiest if you have a chair, just leaning over and even pull the foot up. Gently press the knee down, getting through the hip, through the glute. Lots of things we work today. And then cross it other side. Lean into it, pull up with the foot. Gently press down with the knee. Leaning over into that. And breathe. One big deep breath in. And out. And that was your low impact standing leg workout. Great job, everybody.